There is a Pottery Barn pumpkin that is taking the internet by storm and today I'm going to see if I can recreate it on a budget. Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome to my channel Green Onion Vintage. Let's head to Michael's and see how close I can get to making the Pottery Barn pumpkin for maybe around half the price. So I'm going to take a minute to walk you guys through Michael's as I'm shopping, uh, just so you know what I'm actually looking for, the Pottery Barn pumpkin that I'm trying to recreate is this rustic whitewashed terracotta looking pumpkin. Uh, the prices range based on its size, but they are expensive. I mean, um, the larger one is $80, but really as I'm shopping around, I'm seeing that pumpkins are just expensive in general. So I'm really trying to keep my pumpkin costs under $20 here. And then I'm gonna need to buy some paint that I can mix or hopefully find like a really nice terracotta color uh, to paint the pumpkin. And then I know I already have um, some Dixie Belle white wax at home that you guys have seen me use a lot. And I think that'll be the perfect finish for this. Um, so that's kind of the game plan here as I just need to find a pumpkin that I can paint and then hopefully grab some acrylic paint that's pretty cheap um, so that you guys can also go to Michael's or your lo local craft store and recreate this if you like how it looks in the end. I don't think Michael's is going to be the cheapest for pumpkins. So if you have a Walmart or Hobby Lobby, I would actually start there first. So these paintable craft pumpkins are $20. They're not marked down right now because they're Halloween. Uh, I feel like $20 is absolutely insane, and that was what I was worried about. So I'm not going to get those, but they actually have these like ceramic pumpkins that are in the fall section, and fall is currently 40% off. So it's $25, 40% off that, and then since I'm a homeschool teacher, I get another 15% off. So I might grab one of those. What is happening? This is a foam pumpkin for $80. And it's 40% off, but that's crazy. This one is smaller, it's 50. I love this one, but it's so expensive. So here's the pumpkin I ended up purchasing. It was uh, $15, I think, regular price, and I had a 20% off coupon online. There's always a coupon on Michael's website, like almost always. Um, this is made completely of plaster, so it weighs a lot, but it's only about eight inches tall, I would say, um, and came in at about like $11 with all my discounts. And then I'll show you the paint colors I was able to grab. I think that the combination of the paint and this really cute pumpkin, I'll be able to achieve a very similar look to the Pottery Barn pumpkin. Um, I was really happy to find a pumpkin that already had the face carved out. Um, that was definitely my main goal in looking for this. And so I'm gonna let you watch the painting process now. So it seems like the sweet spot for getting that terracotta cotta color is really just using these two colors. Again, I got these at Michael's and today they were 75 cents each. There was like some special sale on the two ounces, but I'm probably gonna use them up today. Um, so the raw sienna, is like this kind of brownish orangey color. Um, and then this is the deep coral. And I have I started with like maybe four parts of the brown to one part coral. Um, and that looked good in the bowl, but once I got it on the pumpkin, it actually needed to be quite a bit lighter. So I ended up probably doing a closer ratio of like one to one, so equal parts. And then I think that really gave like that nice terracotta finish. So I did almost a full coat using this mixed color, but I was feeling like it was too dark on the actual pumpkin. So I do go in later and add more of the coral color. And I think that made the perfect terracotta color. Um, now I do paint a larger pumpkin that you guys will see in the final reveal. And because the larger pumpkin that I painted was already orange, it actually came through even darker with my terracotta color. So I should have even added more coral to the one that was already orange just to help kind of um, cancel that color out. So I might actually paint that one again um, just to make it that nice terracotta-ness because it looks just a little bit too orange for me and it's bothering me. So um, as far as this one though, this one really did turn out perfectly. I think the coral with that burnt orange actually was the perfect combination and I'll be able to use those colors in other projects because I think that I really like the look of it and this acrylic paint 
It was very, very cheap and really easy to use too. And it's also water-based, so the cleanup isn't too bad. Okay, it's time to see if I can achieve that Pottery Barn effect with the Dixie Belle White Wax. You guys have seen me use this many times on my channel. I'm a little nervous to not be doing the clear wax first, but I, I just don't want to. <laughs> That's literally the only reason. So I'm just going to see how it looks, and then if it looks like it's going to be too heavy, I'll come back over with some clear wax. Clear wax kind of will erase it if you've done too much. I don't know. I feel like I want to look at my inspiration picture again before I go too far. Um, I don't remember if the one from Pottery Barn has like more white collected in the crevices. So I'm going to pull that up. Let's see. So here's what I'm talking about. $89. Um... Oh, it has a lot more texture in that picture. I didn't realize that. Okay. See, in this picture, I just thought it was smoother. And so I didn't do baking soda in the terracotta color because I didn't think it was that textured. Looking at these pictures, though, it does have more texture to it. And I'm afraid my orange is a little dark. So I think actually using the white wax is the right move to try to accomplish this. And I'm just gonna do it kind of splotchy and like darker in some areas and lighter and just not try to make it perfect by any means. And I think that will help achieve like the kind of rustic look that they've used and that they are charging $89 for. Now that one's 12 inches high, so that's a pretty good size pumpkin. Whereas the one we're looking at right now, this one I have is maybe like eight inches to the stem. Their small one, they're charging $50 for. So that would be more similar in size. Um, so yeah, I'll be accomplishing this for well under half the price. Not well under, actually. Pretty close to half the price. So, um, pretty good deal, but let's keep going and see if I can really give it that kind of whitewashed effect. I completely love the color combination of this like burnt orange terracotta color with the white. I think this one turned out so pretty. Um, just as a final touch, I'm using just a kid's brush, like one of those sponge brushes to add some white wax into the eyes. And this feels oddly just like putting makeup on a jack-o'-lantern. Um, maybe just like leaving a little bit of white accent on the corners. Um, and then that's going to be it. The beauty of this being a white paint underneath is that anywhere that I didn't paint perfectly, like, it's white, and so I'm using white wax, and so that's all going to kind of blend in. So you don't have to do a perfect painting job. That's something you're nervous about. Uh, and I'm kind of liking, like, using this to smooth out some of the brush strokes even, um, or just add in, like, different textures in different areas. I think the Le the less consistent you let something be, the more authentic it looks, especially if you're going for something that looks a little more rustic. So um, perfection isn't always the goal, especially on my projects. I think the more perfect I try to be on something, the more stressed I get about it, and then I just don't enjoy the process at all. Um, so with something like this, where I get to be a little bit more willy-nilly with like the wax at the end and stuff, those are my favorite kinds of projects. And I just hope that when I share these with you guys, that you guys feel like you can tackle something like this too, even though this is a pretty simple project compared to some of the ones I've, I've shared with you before. Um, I know there's people who even doubt their ability to like just paint a pumpkin. And let me tell you that there are so many ways that you can make a pumpkin obviously look cute um, without even doing it perfectly. So I really think there's a lot of potential in this pumpkin technique. Um, if, as long as you have like a, a nice white wax, and I know a lot of people use the one from Walmart, um, but it's just not quite as thick as the Dixie Bell. And the Dixie Bell one is very concentrated in color. So it does give a lot of white pigment, which is why I prefer to use the Dixie Bell one. Um, but there are definitely cheaper alternatives that you guys can get at your local stores and you can paint your pumpkin, any color, use the white wax over the top. And I think that would be just a really pretty effect and absolutely no reason to go spend $90 
at Pottery Barn for something similar. And I just watched on a TikTok that they have jack-o'-lanterns at Walmart that are much larger than this one for maybe around $20. So um, I didn't go to Walmart to check, but I would keep your eyes out if you guys are looking for a larger alternative to this one that might also be similar in price. So lots of options out there and maybe I'll share another one if I get around to it, but this is definitely my favorite one of the day. And I'll share you uh, an image of it with some better lighting because I know the windows right now are doing some shadow tricks. But love this one, and this one was so enjoyable to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Okay, I had other plans for this pumpkin from Michaels. I paid, uh, it was $25 originally. I paid 40% off, and then I get an extra 15% off for being a homeschool teacher. Um, so that probably brought it around like $16. I want to say it is, um, ceramic, but I think it's foam inside. Um, it just has maybe like a plaster coating. So it's nice and sturdy and heavy. And after seeing how cute the other terracotta pumpkin turned out, I want to do this one the same way so that I can kind of start like a collection of them. Cause when I've seen the ones from Pottery Barn put like all together on a mantle, which I don't know who's paying like $600 for pumpkins, but somebody did and they put it on their mantle all together and they look so pretty as a collection. So I'm going to do this one and maybe even try to find another pumpkin, maybe in my storage that I can do so I can have three alternate sizes to put in my booth together because I think that would make a really pretty display for fall. So I'm going to transform this one, possibly do a third one, and then I'll show you guys the results in the end. you guys enjoyed today's DIY dupe of this Pottery Barn pumpkin. I actually got this smaller pumpkin bowl here from Goodwill for a dollar so that definitely helped make this a budget friendly project. Let me know if you have any comments down below or any questions or if you have any words of advice for me. Um, this is a larger pumpkin that I was talking about earlier that I'm going to actually repaint a whole other coat of terracotta. Um, but I do think that you guys, you got the effect today. Um, and if you guys go ahead and do this yourself, make sure you let me know. You can show me over in my Facebook community group and I will have all the links down below if you guys want to check out that community and show all your creations that you guys are doing as well. I'd love to see those and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.